Hey guys, it's Ross Scott, and on the Space Coach today, I've managed to finally get around to watching this season one of The Expanse, and I thoroughly, thoroughly enjoyed it. It does differ from the book, and some ways I'll remember, and some ways I won't, because you know how complicated those books are. Uh, for instance, my brother said, I think it's Scott who said it, that Avasarala doesn't actually appear in the first book of The Expanse, but I thought that she did, you know, but there's so many of them. Maybe she didn't, I don't know. And this doesn't quite follow the entire first book of the Expanse series. Um, it kind of ends, just uh, spoilers by the way, <laughs> if you haven't seen it, this has been out for, well actually it's probably not been out that long, readily available, but anyway, spoilers. It ends just as um, the Rosinante is leaving Eros Station. So we don't get to see all that really cool stuff about the, um, the vomit zombies and the rib cage with the arm attached that's going across the floor that they see, all that sort of stuff. And obviously the station hasn't deviated from its orbit and is heading towards Earth, or has not done that rather. So that I assume is going to be in the first part of season two. Now if it had been one or two episodes longer, they could have done the entire book. I'm not quite sure why they ended it there, um, but I guess we'll find out in season two because I'm trying to remember what happened in season two <laughs> and uh, it's a bit difficult to remember I think it's just a fallout from the proton molecule um, but I shall have to get season two in due course when it's out which I think is December but yes great acting by everyone in here all of these guys are now those characters for me um, Stephen Strait is great as Holden Miller sorry Thomas Jane is great as Miller um, all of the others, um, Alex, um, the Amos and the Naomi characters, they're all great as well. But like I said, there were some differences that I didn't really remember from the books that might have been added in um, just as a script writing thing. Or it might be that I've completely forgotten, like um, the spy on the Rosinante when they leave Tycho Station, who uh, ends up on Eros with them. And he gets um, a, a Carter J. Burke ending, which is thoroughly deserved. But yes, I'm very much looking forward to seeing season two and those scenes of where uh, the um, Eros crashes into Venus, which will probably will be at the end, maybe, of season two, because that's the thing that's like in the background the whole time, from what I recall. Um, it crashes onto Venus at the end of book one, but at the end of book two is when the gate mechanism appears, leaves Venus and heads out to Neptune. So that should be very interesting to see in due course but yes i finally managed to see season one of the expanse and it was well worth the wait please subscribe to my channel if you enjoyed this content leave me a comment or suggestion for a coming topic you'd like to see discussed or like the video